versus the celiac and there's been kind of buzz I've caught wind of it in some forums and some books but not others so I really wanted to research it and kind of figure it out and vitamin E um, is made from different sources some of which are G free like nuts and seeds and um, greens but it's also made um, from wheat and wheat germ as well which is not safe but Vitamin E is also a fat, whereas gluten is a protein, so it's more about cross-contamination than consumption when it comes to vitamin E. Now, some people are from the school of, if you don't ingest it, it can't make you sick, and some people are from the school of, I don't want gluten in anything. I try to be safe. I don't use gluten um, containing toothpaste or any other products um, like, like lotions, hairsprays have wheat in them stuff like that. So I try to be very, very safe. But I know a lot of um, hand sanitizers have vitamin E in them and I often put it on my hands before I, you know, pick up my lunch and eat it. So it's something to think about. And synthetic vitamin E, known as di-alpha tocopherol, let me spell that, um, T-O-C-O-P-H-E-R-O-L, tocopherol, it should always be avoided. Um, it is always going to have gluten in it. As far as everything I've seen, that's what it says. Um, so check the label and see if it's synthetic. It'll be, um, there's several tocopherols and tocotrienols that make up vitamin E. So when you see tocopherol or tocopherinol, sorry, I'm probably butchering this, the same considerations apply um, and you want to not have you do not want to consume synthetic vitamin E because it will make you sick. Which I thought was really interesting because if I had not just done this, I just bought this canola oil. Okay? I hope you put the label up there. Um, vitamin E added to enhance freshness all natural. I'm like, oh, that's great. So I look back here. There's no, there's nothing on the label, um, you know, with any kind of allergens listed. And the ingredients are expeller pressed canola oil and mixed tocopherols, vitamin E to preserve quality, which now I know that that is a, excuse me, uh, fake vitamin E, and I can't have this. So now I have to send this back to Fresh Direct, which was sad because I couldn't really make my recipe, but I subbed it with some other oil, so it was fine. But look out for that, because that would have totally gotten me, and I feel like I pour over blogs and medical journals and websites all day, every day, and that would have totally gotten me sick. So something to think about, don't ingest synthetic vitamin E and make sure you know the source of the vitamin E. If it's from wheat or wheat germ, do not consume, consume that either. Um, thanks so much for watching. I hope this helped. Um, as always, it's from Have Not to Have in Gluten-Free Dining. Have a wonderful day.